was playing darts in my bedroom when I was about 11. I was with my dad. I was missing the board, getting frustrated. And he sat me down and he said, well, look, we live in a world that is basically made for people who can see, and you can't. You're in the minority. And it just woke me up. That was the night I realized that it was down to me. Everything I did in life was down to me, and it was down to me to find ways to do things. Is my mic still in my face? You hear me, Matt? I hear you, yeah. OK. Just keep going forward, and hold that, hold that, hold that. You're right on the line. Here we are, right there, right here. OK, let's go first, first, and second. And we're standing, and we're jumping. Grab. And now we're breaking. Break hard, hard, hard. Perfect. In this project, I'm having to use every single facet that I've developed over the years to do something which is seemingly relatively simple. Go in a straight line, go over a jump, land. But once you, once you look at the mechanics, it's in no way simple at all. It's probably the most challenging thing I've ever uh, attempted. We're, I mean, if, let's put it this way. If you hit the jump like that, we're going to be jumping big. Mm -hmm. Well, Mickey Diamond is, uh, you know, a champion racer and uh, an amazing jumper of motorcycles. Um, he's, he's just a legend. I made it to the top and I, I didn't have the respect and the, the knowledge of what I really had. So I, um, uh, man, I just uh, pissed it away in a sense and um, took, 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 um, took a lot of years to forgive myself for that, you know? And I, I'm, I'm doing this and, and, and then, then you got to get your arm back and get behind here and, and, and I fell over. I was like, <laughs> I was all, oh, oh! <laughs> I've always just been fascinated with motorbikes. I think it was just the sound that they made and I love the feel of them and the, it, it represented, I don't know, some kind of magic or freedom. And I wanted to have one of those little mini bikes and it just, it was there as a Christmas present and it was, it was, it's just something I've never forgotten. It was the most amazing, the most amazing gift that my parents could have given me. And uh, I was only six so I wasn't big enough to, my legs weren't long enough to to touch the floor on both sides. But I was so excited about it, and I'd go, go into my dad's garage, and, and I would touch it, and I would start it up, and I, and I, would, I was mesmerized by this thing. And I just couldn't believe, couldn't believe that I had a motorbike. It was like, a, it was a total dream come true. You're dead straight, and jump. And jab it down the back side, rock. Okay, come to a stop. We're starting to get hot, so let's do one more, and we're done. Whenever you talk to motorcyclists, they're, they're always talking about sound, and they're always making the sound of the motorcycle and how it sounds in the different gear. When I was talking about plucking a string, I want you to pluck the clutch. Like when I was telling you, like, yeah, okay. you can use the clutch and the throttle. You rev the oh, throttle yeah. and then snap the clutch. The so it goes, it, it holds and then builds the RPMs and then it explodes them up. I'm just counting on the fact that he's going to be able to just mesh it into the motorcycle RPMs and the, the tones just like it's an instrument. His count and the RPM and the noise and the, and the vibration and the sound and the feel should be all something that he can duplicate again and again. And all we need to do is get hit the right note enough times and then it will be something that he can do always.